Sunday and uh, we're getting ready to head out and go to Maryland. We've uh, started packing the car. It's a little bit later than we wanted to get started, but life does what life does. So, see everybody in Maryland soon. On the road to Maryland, hopefully it'll be a fun drive. It is hot as hell out right now, but according to the weather, it looks like it's going to be getting colder as we drive. I think that's a yay. Hopefully it doesn't rain. Uh, here we go. And here we go. Crossing the Mississippi River. This is a very large truck for a very tiny bridge. Yeah, it is. It is as nerve wracking to drive as it, as it is to watch. <laughs> yeah. This is, this is, you see, I'm like double amp fist and like. It's really pretty out. Yeah, it is. You can see on the horizon the other bridge. Yeah, it's the other bridge we're about to go over in a minute when we cross it. Is it the Ohio? Uh, yeah. I think. <laughs> I've crossed it so many times you'd think I would actually know what bridge it is. I imagine it gets hairier when it's an 18 wheeler. Oh, yeah. And at night. And at night. A couple years back when we came through, they had one lane closed. Yeah. For I, repairs. You, you know, for some reason, that was more relaxing than having to cross with an 18 wheeler in the other lane. <laughs> Maybe to you. In a quarter mile, turn right onto US 60 East. Well, we'll do, nice lady. <laughs> Now we're in Illinois, yay! Turn right onto US 60 East, US 62 East, Great River Road. It is in Illinois, beautiful. We're gonna be in Illinois for a really long time. So I'm gonna leave the camera rolling the entire time. Continue on Ohio US 60 River. East for five miles. And up we go. I find this bridge more nerve wracking because it arcs up so high. Yeah. It's uh, more open now. It's yeah. not as constricted driving wise. There's a bunch of barges. Barges. Yeah, I was looking. <laughs> My eyes are on the road, really. <laughs> it's pretty, what can I say? It is. It's hard enough to catch a glimpse, even if it's a quick one, a brief one. Yeah, here you go. This is what it's like to have. Oh, it's a small one without stuff on its back. <laughs> <laughs> I can breathe again. I can only imagine the 18 wheeler in front of us going, oh, another truck. Actually, they're probably used to it. Probably. Actually, every time I see an 18 wheeler, wheeler I keep going, nope, not a red one, not my brother. That's right, I keep going, roll in, roll in, roll in. <laughs> uh, more farm fields out. This is actually a floodplain area. Yeah. Um, you know, a couple years ago when the water was real high, this is all covered, it was all flooded in, all water. Disco sign. It was all part of the river. Train tracks. In fact, the part after the train tracks was also part of the underwater. Yep. You can actually see some little, I don't know, oh, yeah, a little bit, a little bit of the culvert or whatever that is over there. Overflow. The overflow. I don't know. And now we're oh, in Kentucky, which you can tell because of all of the vines. Yes. Kentucky. We call it the bluegrass state. I think it should be called the vine and ivy state. There's a lot of vines and ivy. National Veterans Highway. And the road trip goes on. Stopped in Bardstown to get something to eat. Man, it's gotten pretty out. I knew they, the weather forecast that it was going to be getting cooler as we drove on, but it's. I almost don't want to get back into the truck to keep going. It's nice.
There's sometimes I actually like Kentucky, and I think I need to say that because I don't say it very often. But right now, it is beautiful. One thing I love about Lexington is that it has a castle. That's just cool. After a long night of driving through the dark, we've arrived. We're here. It's like 4 o'clock in the morning, so yeah. Can't wait to see everybody at shore leave this weekend. It's going to be amazing. It was totally worth the long, long day.